Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. How is everybody doing? It's Friday. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? We made it to Friday. Uh, I am working on all sorts of things. If you're new to the channel, you don't know that, but hi, welcome aboard. Come on in, join, join me, have a seat, grab a cup of coffee, whatever it is you like to do. I like to knit and crochet and play with yarn and tell all the stories that are involved with knitting, crocheting, and playing with yarn. So I was watching TV earlier today with my husband and, you know, I got the hankering to kind of work on something, not anything that I already have going on because that would be smart. And, uh, I remembered I had this book. I don't know why I was searching for this book. Well, I kind of do. Yeah, I kind of do. But look at this. Okay, this is the 100 Flowers to Knit and Crochet. And there's a lot of books out there on the market that uh, are very similar to this, you know, where you're just the 100 things to do, right? Because you know, we always, always need 100 things to do. So I'm like, oh, I want to I wanna make some flowers. And I have my crochet hooks next to me. So that's what I was working on. And then as I'm flipping through the book, I'm like, but I want to knit that. I want, you know, because there's a, it's both knit and crochet, right? And of course, I'm like, well, I have my whole, I had the whole set of crochet hooks with me. And it's like, pick, pick something. And I grabbed a couple colorful balls of yarn. And it's like, pick a flower. And in the first couple that I went to, of course, were the knit. Um, because I had my crochet hooks, right? That's how that works. So I did find one. I decided I was going to make the marigold. I mean, I'm going to make a bunch of these things, right? You know, just, it's going to be a lot of ends. Typical, right? Yeah, okay, great. So I went ahead, look at that. Look at that pattern. How fluffy and full is that? I mean, how much fun. So I had the uh, a lavender with me. I've got, I've got someone with me. Look at this, look. It looks like just a, a puffy pom-pom kind of, doesn't it? I think it's great. So I have plans for these embellishments. So I have to make a bunch. I do have plans. You will see that. So I have these two so far. I don't have the greenery on them yet. Um, for what I'm doing, I'm not sure I'm going to need the green part for, for these particular flowers. So I started work with those. I mean, look at that. And then I did decide I do want some greenery. So I started working with that. And let me see if I can find one I did. I did one of the fern leaves. Um, normally I do like the Irish leaf. Let me find the pattern. I had a mark, but then I just set it down. Oh, there we go. Okay. See? That one right there. I like that. So I was going to do that one. And oh my gosh, I love these. I love these. Those, um, I had the, uh, the blue and the purple next to me and, and green. And if I would have had the yellow with me, I would have made a whole bunch of the little forget me nots. I mean, those are so cute for what I have in mind. Oh my gosh, that's going to be perfect. So I decided, all right, I'm going to make that fern, fern leaf. That's yeah. I mean, that's it. This is, this is it. This is, this is what it looks like when you crochet it. That's, that's straight up it. It's going to need a whole lot of tacking down, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, you know, put that as an embellishment. I mean, that's, that's funny. So this is a testament of what blocking can do. Because that is, look at that. Isn't that crazy? That is that fern leaf, just all a curled up mangled mess. So blocking works wonders. Look at that. I mean, isn't that cool? So that's going to be fantastic. I got that and I'm going to do stuff like that. I got all these little flowers. I'll put all these things here. Can you, I'm going to make a picture. That's what I'm going to do. I want to do stuff with them. Yeah. So I need more greenery and I need a lot more flowers. My thought anyway. And I'm going to um, use these on something else. And it's going to be, like I said, a whole bunch of ends. And I had another flower that I started and it's, Look at that curled up mess. I'm not sure I like that one as much. It's kind of like the daffodil, but I don't care about the colors, right? I'm making weird colors. Uh, but I'm also looking at how much are they going to fold and crinkle on themselves or how much it's going to be to sew them onto what I plan on sewing them onto. 
That fern's going to be something interesting, isn't it? I mean, what a difference that that makes, that curled up, you know, blocked right there. And, and I, oh, um, this is acrylic yarn that I used for this, and I just did a light steam over top of it. I didn't touch the iron to the yarn, but being that it's acrylic, plastic, um, you will melt it if you do that. So, you know, be cautious. But I did put steam over top of it, and, you know, I think it flattened out quite nicely. I mean, the difference is amazing. Isn't it? This is, this is one of those, when people say, oh, I don't like the block, I, I you know, it depends blocking is needed. I mean, right? That's needed, but it's not always my favorite. It really does make a huge difference. So that will be so much easier to actually use and to sew down than that would. Um, I think you get the idea of what it is with the two. So that was a lot of fun as far as that's concerned, but I am going to use those in another project. I think some of you are kind of already getting the drift of what the project's going to be, but I'll show that as I get a few more things uh, worked up. And look at this. You've got the butterfly in there. I've got daisies, tulips. I've got pansies. I've got, well, it's not a pansy, but you know, I've got a ton of different things in this particular book. So I'm going to have fun with that. And I've got um, other books that you know, have the embellishments. And then of course I've got things in my brain that I've done in the past. Oh, here's the little, the marigold right there. The one that I did with crazy colors because I can. And then the book also has things in the back, some suggestions on how to use your embellishments, you know, showing that as far as that's concerned. They do have things lined up like this on the book so that you can see, hey, here's my color, here's my flowers. What flower do I want to go to? That's nice so I can at least show the uh, show a little bit of the pictures a little better without showing the pattern because, you know, that's not a nice thing to do. I like the butterfly. I think I need to make some butterflies. There we go. Okay, you can see. I need to make some of those butterflies. Oh, and there's a ladybug. I've got to make some ladybugs, like a bunch of ladybugs. Look at that one. I've got to make those. I'm going to have a blast. And then my little rabbit hole, as I was doing this and everything, having watching things, um, I started thinking too, not just on the flowers. I, I went, I pulled up Ravelry, or not Ravelry, I pulled up uh, Amazon and this book is still available. So that, that is, uh, originally it said it was, um, $21.95, uh, US and $23.95 uh, Canadian. That's what it says straight up on the back of the book, but you can get it less than that on Amazon right now. Um, you know, if you're interested, there you go. I'm not trying to make anyone buy anything. Just telling you what I've got. I like that. I like the cluster of flowers and all the butterflies. And I think I need to do a bunch of butterflies, ladybugs. I like the sprig of forget-me-nots and I like those clusters of flowers. And I'm going to be doing a bunch of those types of things. And I love the texture that that is going to give on something that you can touch and you can play with. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I want the 3D effect of all of these things. Uh, some of the things flat, like obviously the leaves will be flat. And that's the texture as far as that. I want all of that type of thing. I want what I'm making to be quite the experience, quite a unique something with bright colors and, and happy and bouquets and things like that. And then the rabbit hole I went down, not only do you have things like this, there's also other books that you can get that are like little critters that have more of the butterflies, different butterflies, different, different little insects and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, okay, back away. I have this one. Play with what I have, right? Isn't that what we always do? We look at something and like, oh, wait a minute, I can do something better. I can, I can make all sorts of other crazy things. Yes, yes, that's what we do. That's what I do anyway. Uh, so this is what I'm planning. This is what I'm playing with. And I, I know that there are people out there who know exactly what I'm going to do with all of this stuff, but that's going to be in another video. So this is just preliminaries, getting things ready for my blank canvas.
and that's a good hint. So, and that's that's where I'm that's where I'm going, at having fun with that. I feel pretty accomplished getting two flowers done and getting two things of the greenery done while just hanging out with my husband. Um, not gonna lie, that was kind of like, oh, why did I pick that one? And it just blooms. I mean, it's kind of funny. It blooms, but it does. It looks so fantastic when it is blocked. And that's what it looks like when you make it. So if you ever decide to make any of these things, whether it's from this particular book by uh, Leslie Stanfield, 100 Flowers to Knit and Crochet, if you ever decide to do it like that, or you already know how to do a fern, or you've done it through other, other means, it's going to look like that. It's going to be a curled mess. And then you have to block it or be really good at just sewing it down and everything and, you know, making it, making it do what you want it to do. Um, so I'm looking at having fun, pinning on all sorts of greenery and flowers and bouquets and, and stuff. And uh, when I went on um, Amazon and I was looking to verify that this book is still available in case you are interested, I'll link it in, in case I'm not affiliated with anybody, but I'll link it in case you it's, it's something you wanted to uh, look at. Um, I scrolled down and oh my goodness. So you can buy, you probably already knew this. I didn't know this. You can buy on Amazon already crocheted bouquets. You know, people who've made them or what, you know, you know, different sellers and stuff, but they're already done crocheted bouquets that you can give for graduation and things. I mean, that's how they're marketed. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. And then another one was a bundle of little tiny flowers, um, you know, about that big. And it was like a hundred flowers. You, you can get a hundred of these hand crocheted little flowers, you know, two round type things uh, shipped to you in, in a couple of week time period, you know, for less than $20. I'm like, oh, okay. So it, it was kind of funny with all the different options. I'm going to make my own, but I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty neat. If you're in a time crunch and you want to embellish something, there's a lot of different embellishments that you can purchase already pre-done and sew them on yourself. So that was just kind of fun for me to look at. I'm like, oh, I I wouldn't have gone looking if it didn't show me when I typed in the 100 flowers. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm off on a tangent. I've got flowers to make. I've got greenery. I've got stems. I've got all sorts of other things on the needles and the hooks. Come back to find out exactly what I'm doing. Um, it's going to be amazing. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.